What is up, you guys? It's your boy. It's Lunchbox to the L O U. Coming at you guys with another episode of WWE 2K16. This is my career mode, episode 5. It's not streaming, buddy. So, hit that thumbs up button as hard as you can. Subscribe and share. And leave a comment. I'm in a party today with one of my good friends, Mr. Emmanuel Robinson. What's up, guys? Chaos Later here. Go sub. Alright, here we go, y'all. Whoever watches his videos, click that subscribe button as hard as you can and that like button. Turn on the notification bell. Make sure to do it. Don't forget. Alright, you guys, it is Seth Rollins versus Johnny Marcantel, the newly crowned WWE Champion. He's beat Brock Lesnar, he's beaten The Rock in one historical main event of WrestleMania to become your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. But it seems to me this rookie. It's not yet done. He's the world champion, but let's keep going. We're in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, Lewis? What's up? You're not streaming, buddy. <laughs> I know I'm not. You're recording? I told you that already. Princess Emmanuel. Mm. I wouldn't say it, dude. You better not fucking say it. What? You know what I'm you thinking. Know? Don't you say it. You know, therapy? Don't you say it. No, I do not want to know. No. <laughs> No, 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 That name is banned from this party. You motherfucker. I hate you so much. What the hell are you moaning in a party for, dude? Really? Hey, will you stop doing that? What is your problem, man? This child. You guys, I'm so sorry for this. You're not fucking streaming, you dumbass. You're an idiot. Up, oh, I missed. Up, oh, no. Up, Seth with a single, single leg drop kick. This a cum shot. What is you, dude? See, this is the reason why my channel is not for children. <laughs> This is the one reason my channel is not child friendly. I'm. Uh, that's bullshit, okay? Because the uh, most child friendly channel is Lunchbox Zero, okay? Oh, you don't believe that shit. That's bullshit. You believe that, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you believe that, you're a fucking idiot. Damn guys, he's calling y'all idiots. This ain't cheap to turn. Hey, hey, no, no, no. If you think my channel is perfect for your child, you are a fucking idiot. 
If you ages, think uh, ages uh, 13 to 27. If you think <laughs> your, do you think this channel is perfect for your eight, nine, ten year old? No, you're a fucking idiot, and you should be fucking whipped with a whip. Will you stop moaning, dude? That's not cool. <laughs> Oh my God, that's crazy. Uh, Marcus was on rock bottom. It's scary. That's, <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? Marcus yeah, counters. Do you, know, do you know why that your uh, uh, channel is not childhood friendly? That it's because of one name, Rob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's funny. So uh, we're well, Rob and me. But other than that, this is the most child friendly channel you can ever watch. It's even more child friendly than Barney. Jesus, Mark can tell. Lewis, there's no cursing on this channel. There's no fucking cursing. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. I don't know who told you that ain't no cuss. No, this channel, we cuss our ass off. Do you want to cuss your ass off? Seth Rollins' career began as one of the most respected grapplers on the independent scene. Rollins then joined WWE and was crowned the first ever NXT champion. The world then saw him emerge Yo, as one of the uh, top Lewis, talent I think the best player in WWE history has to be probably Mikey, right? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> well, who else could it be? He made, um, you, ta he made your AI tap out 80 or 90 times. This the other way around, idiot. <laughs> Mark and Toe hit his batter's move the right edge. Seth Rollins kicking out. Oh, Mark and Toe with a famous one. Let, let's, let's play straight real quick. I'll start. Yo, you know why you hear Mikey? Because your mom just wanted to quit. Quit. What? That's what you said to Mikey, remember? You said, you know why you hear Mikey? Your parents just wanted a quickie. That's what you told them last time, remember? No, I don't remember that. Well, you said it. Oh, by the way, Mikey uh, is asking to come back in uh, FSW. Damn it! He's asking to come back in FSW, Luke. He oh, would no. never. He Should I add him in? Hell no. You don't love me, I mean, him anymore? What is wrong with you, boy? <laughs> Second time. Are down. Oh, wait. One, <laughs> two. Damn it! Mm. Dude, I'm Seth white, dude. What is that? No! Damn it! What? You saw a stripper with her titties? Oh my god. Oh, you saw a strip? You went into a strip over some chick with a dick. Oh, okay. Come on. But yeah, guys, uh, let your children watch this channel. This show, uh, this, uh, channel. Is, uh, Come on, ref. One, two, three. But yeah, like when you said uh, you missed, like what did you, the cum shot you missed, or like what was it? Oh my god. Yo, there's, a, uh, there's some videos on Google. I'm not even gonna acknowledge you, bro. I'm not even gonna acknowledge you, you dumb butthead. Do I have to say it again? You Nosferatus, motherfucker. Yeah, Just call me a bandejo. Really? Yes. Yes, I did. Dale, Mother fuck me. <laughs> when and where? <sighs> Yo, Lewis. Do you know who Dakota Kai is? Yes, I know who Dakota Kai is, dude. 
but you oh, know, Kai is Roman her, Reigns. You know, Kai, you know uh, Kai is in her full last name, right? Do you want me to say the other half? Dakota fucking Kai. No, the other half of her last name. <sighs> If you fucking said, I will sit here and beat the brakes off you. Can can you say? It? Why do you hate the word Kino so much? Do I know why? Because there was a moron in the chat that kept saying it, and I had no idea who the hell it was. It was Ross. No, it, it it was not. It was some other idiot in another dude, league. Dude, me and Storm have like a private chat. Like me and you have a private. Oh, like mom. That don't sound right. I know. Like uh, the private chat we had. Uh, uh, he named it Kinoshima. He or Kiyoshima, the Kiyoshima. And the word Kiyoshima, the Kiyoshima. I thought it was the human Tell me, say, make it better say it. Wait, but Lewis, why are you lying on your channel? You're saying that it's not child friendly. My channel isn't child friendly. What it's are you talking about? No, it's not. Like, I don't have children come onto my channel. And you get the fuck out of here. Or something, right? <clears throat> it has to be rock, right? Right? I'm a big, fat, beautiful, pink vagina. I'm so fucking beautiful. I mean, I'm so beautiful. I look, no, I'm so fucking beautiful. You might as well call me Dolphin Pussy. Fucking asshole. Dolphin Pussy? Matter of fact, I would literally fuck a dolphin. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I beat the brakes off that dolphin. What is wrong with you, dude? You sitting here moaning and talking about fucking dolphins and shit. You know what I'm saying, you fucking dolphin? Are you kidding me? I never said that. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am. You said this episode of Raw in you said you'll fuck the bricks off that dolphin, remember? Damn! Up, uh, motherfucker! Oh! If I remember correctly, Roman Reigns did spear Kane and the Big Show so Rock can get to Mark and Tell. Yo, do you know what I call the Rock sometimes when I don't like them? What? Do you know what I call the Rock sometimes when I don't like them? 
they like to call the rock sometimes, but when they don't like them. What, dude? I call him the cop. Oh, dear God. Oh, you're beating that rock. Oh, yep, you're beating that rock. Miami, Florida, playing host to us tonight, as you may recall, was WrestleMania 28. Guys, he's beating that rock. Right here oh, in Miami. Very, very hard. Oh. 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 I'd say that's more embarrassing than Lewis. anything else. What, dude? You're gonna get age of shit. Oh today. shit! Oh damn! Oh shit! Oh yeah. fucking Christ, Roman! Roman, I'm sorry! No! Oh god! Roman, you pussy. Mark and guy, Roman! He got him with a. DDT! <laughs> And Roman with another counter. I didn't say that. You wanna know it's not hot? You. You know what is hot? Looks like he's pinpointing the back. You're gonna see several more demonstrations like that before the night's over. Bing! I'm not sure I can watch this. Zach. Zach. Climbing the turnbuckle. Zach. Oh, wait. Shit, hold on. Lewis. What? Here, like, uh, how old oh, do you have to be? Oh, good outside? God! <clears throat> how old do you have to be to watch Lunchbox Lewis' channel? I don't know. It's your fucking channel, man. Eight? Oh. He narrowly avoids the attack there. Like, nobody on the channel ever fucking curses. Whoever fucking curses him will fucking show his right up the fucking big ass fucking bitch to the fuck ass crap lip. This is a crap like that. He's moving like an uncaged animal. Damn it, Roman. What you doing, Scat Rowley? One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Backward ball inside the ring. Can you help me get in, Scat? Johnny got him with a, got him with a neck breaker. Yo, Lewis. Lewis. What? Rain just Dude, can you stop fucking calling my name? Dude, Serrano peppers are hot. More hot than Kim Kardashian's fake ass. Oh my, look at this! Oh my, Marcantel comes up big there. You know, Marcantel looks oh. unstoppable now. Oh. How much damage yes. did that do? A lot from the looks of it. The end may be near. There's the super kick. Man, and it's right on the foot. Uh. What's Johnny going for? Oh, <laughs> he's going for it. He's going for the most electrifying move in sports entertainment on Roman. He's going for people's elbow. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lewis, you know what I did One, two, doof. Roman kicked out. Yo, Lewis, do you know what dick did he sounds like? Do you know what that sounds like? It sounds like dick titty. That's how an aerialist damages the mind. Yeah, that'll definitely leave a mark. We've really seen one amazing move after another in this one. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. And another people's elbow. And a big uh, pedigree. It is going for it. One. Two, Dude, Roman refuses K. 
to get pinned by Rice Cousins. Finish him and over. And he, oh, damn. Roman! Roman won't stay down! Damn it! He got him with a super kick! Look at him eat a cheeseburger with their, a spin. knife and fork. Hang on. Yo, he got him with can't. sweet chin music. Yo, Lewis. One, two, three. Lewis, if you ever got a cheeseburger, would you eat it with a knife and fork? No. Thank you. How do you eat cheeseburgers? Tell me. Like you don't need it with the knife and fork, right? Wrong. Look at Mark Minta holding the WWE Championship in his hands. Oh my god. Time to play the game. It's Triple H. Oh my god. It's Brock Lesnar. Please welcome my guest tonight. Let's talk about Brock Lesnar. How do you feel about Brock Lesnar staking his claim to your championship? I am the champion, and when you're the champ, everyone is gunning for you. Brock Lesnar staking his claim to the championship is no big surprise. I've been preparing for a big match like this, and I'm ready to prove that I'm not just a paper champion. The word is that the guys in the locker room don't respect you. What are your thoughts on that? They will respect me once I go back there and demolish every single one of them. The guys in the back, they're either jealous or scared. I can understand that. I mean, look at me. I am the most dominant force in the WWE today.
There you have it. Back to you, Cole.
Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one on one in a good old fashioned wrestling match. Oh, Bray Wyatt felt that. Whoa. Not today, too fast. We may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Nicely executed. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Yeah, none expected and none will be shown. Ray Wyatt reverses it. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh, look out. Right to the face. And down he goes. He's got him hooked. Right in the mouth. I'm not sure if I've ever experienced an eerie silence that falls over an entire arena like I do when Bray Wyatt announces he's here. Even in darkness, you can see the whites of people's eyes and the audience fixated on Bray Wyatt and frightened beyond explanation at what he's going to do. Down they go after a big shove. No kidding. That was a big shove. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. And now he goes for it a second time. This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? That's important. You know, I've been in a lot of arenas, and I've seen a lot of things, but I've never seen a capacity crowd stand with such a combination of fear and awe as when Bray Wyatt begins his ominous walk to the ring. And he gets leveled. a vicious elbow drop. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Oh, a serious knockout blow. And it's Bray Wyatt executing the reversal. We're looking at complete domination here. I think you can tell by looking into the disturbing eyes of Bray Wyatt that he likes this. This man enjoys knowing that when he walks into an arena, people are frightened of him more with each horrifying step he takes. If that doesn't tell you what you need to know about Bray Wyatt, then I don't know what would. Well, Michael, I think now people everywhere with the razor's edge. Ooh, that was sharp. The shoulders are down. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. Quick thinking to avoid that. Acrobatics like that do more than just frustrate opponents. Yeah, he may be ticking this guy off. You know, when you look at Bray Wyatt, he may not resemble your traditional WWE superstar, but believe me, he can move in that ring. On top of his twisted mentality, Bray is strong as an ox and quick as a cat. Bray Wyatt will surprise you with his move for someone who's six foot three and weighs 285 pounds. Whoa, the bizarre Bray Wyatt starting to go in for the kill. Wyatt's brand of evil can cause your mortality to flash in front of you, your very eyes. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, 
both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. Look at this. Could it be? That's it. He's done. The shoulders are down. The following contest is a no disqualification match. And it is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship.
might wind up in a body bag You took your chances, now it's time to show you we're wrong In the rain, this is poor, all you sucks, not strong Day in, day out, the wolf pack for life Tell me who has the guts to come in the rain tonight Who care about the replicas, we make our own rules You don't have what it takes to feel your day shoes See, it's just a crowd pleaser, on the burn the leave You're the punishment for making enemies for these soldiers Turn your back on the wolf Uh, we are seconds away from the start of this title match. How dangerous is a false count anywhere match? Oh, geez, extremely dangerous. But here's the thing. These superstars have to sign a contract to compete in a match. They know what they're getting themselves into. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. Today, too fast. The referee is out. This is not good at all. Oh no, Triple H just threw Brock a chair. Things are not looking good for the champ. Oh, Brock's got him in a Kimura. Triple H just called for the bell. He just called for the bell and gave Brock the title on a silver platter. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. Let's talk about what happened out there tonight. You just lost your title in a very controversial fashion. Can you share what's going through your head right now? I gave it my all. I've got no excuse. I put myself in that position to be screwed over. I'm going back to the drawing board and figuring out a way to get back on top and back to that title. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Okay, um, real quick, you guys. The reason why there was no audio for the um, video a, well, a little bit of the video is because I had my mic muted and I already had the stuff going. So what I'm, what I did was I just added a voiceover, a track to this, so I can let you guys know, so it wouldn't seem like I was being a dick and being a butthead to you guys. So, um, <laughs> just to make it seem sure, um. Yeah, Mark and Tell got screwed over by <laughs> Triple H. Um, Mark and Tell, since he's a hill, he went to pick up the, the um the chair. Lesnar grabbed his arm, put him in a Kamala lock, locked it in real good, but he wasn't tapping out. Triple H didn't care. Triple H ran to the ring bell and told the bastard to ring the bell. And you know what he did? He rang the bell because Hunter's a COO. He didn't want to get fired, so he rang the bell. So, yeah. Hunter screwed Mark and Tell out of the WWE Championship, and he just won it. He just won the damn title. And it's, it's freaking crazy and bizarre. So, um, I don't even, I don't know. <laughs> that it has to be the most funniest thing to ha happen to me, bro. I can say this. Hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. 
subscribe, share this video, like it, and leave a comment whether you like the video or not. I'm sorry for saying like I'm stuttering because I am because I'm a completely shocked. Okay, I love you guys. I see you guys on the next episode. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.